Today, I'm going to show you how I created all of these text effects. It is a new app in Canva, and we're going to go through and try out a few different effects. So let's get started. So first things first is I'm using the new editor today. So um, the new editor does look a little bit different than the old editor. We see the create design button uh, on the top left corner, and, which is right here. So I'm just gonna click create a design. And what I wanna do is I actually want to create um, the size of a, um, a larger workspace, like one of a video, but I don't want to create a video. Um, so I will go click on video and I'm just going to click on a video again um, so that I have the workspace of a video. And uh, I'm not really um, creating a video, but um, so what I'll do is I'll just close that up and I'm just going to turn down the timing uh, all the way. And then when I go to save it, uh, it will just I'll just save it as a PNG file. So what I'd like to do is explore this new app called Text Maker, and it is absolutely amazing. So um, you'll find this app uh, in the apps section. So you can just click on the app section on your left side panel. And in the search bar, type in Text Maker. And here it is right here. I'm just going to click it. And here it is again, text maker. And um, at first we see a preview of the text that we're creating. However, if you scroll down to the bottom, we have all these different effects that are available. And this is absolutely amazing. Um, so we can, so it sorts it by all effects. So when you click on see all, you'll see all the effects. When you click on 3D, you see the 3D effects only. Uh, gold, it shows you all the effects that are gold. We have some comic effects, some graffiti effects, and it goes on and on and on. And I know from the uh, from a post that I saw from the developer that uh, they are adding more and more effects as time goes by. So let's try out a few of these effects together. So let's try out uh, this Ruby effect. And that will take me back to the beginning of Text Maker. And so this, again, is a preview. And over here, we have two options, typography and color. So um, let's just deal with typography First, so let's put in some fake text. So let's type in here Bogo. And we have the option to choose a font. Now I'm going to keep the fonts that are in the um, sample text because I figure that um, I really don't want to change the font because they've been paired with the font, the text effect style. So I'm going to leave the font, but I just want you to know that when you click the arrow there, you have the option to choose many, many different fonts that are available. So uh, you can always change the font that's available. Now we also have the option for text alignment, where you can choose center, left or right. And that comes in handy if you have more than one item on a line. So for example, if I say BOGO sale, then you can align it. Uh, it you can have it center aligned and you can also adjust the um, line height and the letter spacing. So I'm going to reduce the line height a little bit. Uh, maybe I'll make it a little bit larger like that. Okay. Uh, and the line height is just a space in between the first and the second word, right in the middle here. There's also an option for letter spacing, which is also referred to as kerning. You can turn that up or down, and that inserts space in between the letters. So I'll leave it like that, and I'll add that to my design. 
Now, of course, we didn't look at color, so you also have the option to update the colors. So let's try another one and maybe we'll change the colors on the second one. So uh, let's go down to typography and let's go to the bottom where it has effects and let's go to see all and let's choose this graffiti one now. And let's change the text to say graffiti effect. And I'm going to put that on two lines and that's the font that goes with the uh, graffiti effect. Now we, of course, we can always change that. So maybe I'm going to change it to that font, which is sale. Uh, and we can see that there's a little bit of a extrude effect or a shadow effect uh, happening there. Again, we have the option for text alignment, line height, letter spacing, and I'm going to maybe tighten up the line height a little bit like that. And let's go into color and let's see if we can change up the color. So we have uh, black as the outline color. Um, we have um, a choice between uh, 3D depth colors, and I would imagine that that's that outer um, edge there, that shadow effect. So why don't we, let's go ahead and change that to uh, maybe a, a yellow-ish effect. So let's move that over here and up, and I'm just going to turn that a little bit to like that. Okay. All right. Um, and so once you're happy with your design, then you can just add it to your workspace like that. Okay, let's go back up to typography and let's choose another effect. So um, I'm really liking this uh, metal. And there's also this retro. Let's try this retro and let's try this landscape. I'll just add text in there to say landscape metal. And again, I'm going to leave the uh, default font and the coloring. I think that's absolutely uh, very, very pretty. Um, and I'll, so I'll leave the color as well. And then I'll come down and I'll just say add to design. And here that is right there. Let's go back into effects and let's now choose another effect. So let's go down a little bit. Oh, they have some tattoo fonts. So let's just take a look at the type of tattoo fonts. Oh, this is really pretty. Let's choose that. I feel like a kid in a candy store. Um, but let's, um, so we'll say shiny tattoo effect. And you know what I'll do is uh, I'm going to put each one of those on a separate line like that. And I'm going to tighten up the line height. So I'm just going to make that a little bit um, tighter like that. And I'll add that to my work space like that. All right, let's go back into effects and let's see what else there is. I really am liking this red white. Um, metal. So I'm going to click on that. We'll call this metal effect. Uh, maybe we'll even add the word shiny metal effect. And I'll just put effect on the second line like that. And you can see that it's centered, which is perfect. So let's go into color and see what we can do. So we have the option under color to select fill colors. And under fill colors, what we have is um, a gradient. Now we can't necessarily change the color of the gradient, but we can toggle from light to dark and dark to light with this little slider. Um, so as you see in the word, we're going from light to dark. Now underneath gradient direction, we also have a section where we can uh, change the outline colors. So we have um, the white outline, then we have the darker outline, which is a little bit of a black and a gray. And then we have the color uh, gradient that 
is in between. And we can change that gradient color. We can change it to any color. This is the only option that we have to actually change the color. So by clicking it and then going into the gradient color, we can toggle the color slider to uh, pink or blue or green. So I've changed it there to blue. Uh, and you'll notice that when we go up to the text, we'll see that there'll be a um, gradual uh, change from the outer edge to that blue pastel color. And that's what the gradient stop color will do and the gradient direction. I'm going to go ahead and add this one to my design. This one is one that you might have to play with to kind of figure it out. It looks really cool and nifty, but I'll just leave that right there. And let's go back now to typography and let's go back down. Let's go to see all. And there was one more that I wanted to try. I want to try in here the one of these fire effects. And that looks really cool, this flames effect. Now, these are like preset settings uh, that make the most out of fonts and color combinations. So uh, you while you can go and customize the colors, they're probably uh, best the way they are presented to you and that you're only customizing the text. But not, again, you know, nothing prevents you from customizing the colors, that's for sure. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to change the text to read flaming text effect. And I'm going to leave the font the way it is. And I'll also leave it centered. I'm not going to change the line height or the letter spacing. But let's go in and to color and see what options are available. So again, we have options to change outline colors. We have the option to change the shadow color and we have the option to change 3D depth colors. And those are things that you can customize for sure. I'm going to go ahead and add this one to my design. And there it is. Now, one other thing to note is that these are on our workspace as images. So they've been converted to images. And the reason why that's very important is because we can now go into edit and we can apply different effects that would normally only be available to images like uh, BG Remover or Magic Grab. But I guess most importantly, it's the shadows. So let's say I wanted to put a shadow behind this shiny metal effect. I could come down into uh, edit image and I could select the shadows. Now, sorry, but um, this is how I would do it. I would click on the text. I would go to edit. That would open up my side panel where the image effects are. And then I would come down to the shadow effect and I could add a any one of these shadows, either a glow, a drop, an outline, I'm going to select drop shadow. And there you can see that drop shadow. And we can uh, customize the color, the blur angle, and so forth. So we can do that for this shiny metal effect. We can do it for the shiny tattoo effect. We can uh, do it for all of the effects. But there you go. There's that one right there. And that is super cool. What do you think, guys? I am liking these text effects, and I hope that you do too. I'd love to see your uh, text effects. Don't forget to post them in the group. By the way, I have opened up channel memberships where you can get access to a Canva training. It's some 40 videos that will show you how to use Canva uh, teaching you the fundamentals of Canva so you can take your designs to um, the next level. Join my membership, click that join button and see the different options that are available for you. I also have a private group where I give personalized feedback 
and help people with their designs. Uh, that comes with a certain level of membership if you're interested. If you learned anything in this video, please don't forget to press that like button and subscribe so that you're the first to be notified of when new content comes out. For now, my friends, I will say bye-bye. Until next time.